Okay, so hi everybody. It's Michelle coming to you with just a update. It's a slow process, man. I'll just, yeah, just over it. This friggin' ADHD, stop, start, keep going from one task to another. But I, I'm trying to make some order out of it because I know that I'll get back to crafting and producing my YouTube videos for my channel when everything's organised. And, you know, to, to put a, a a dampener on that, my carer said to me, she, she's an ADH herself, she said to me, she said, you know that when you get it organised, it'll become in disarray again. And it just clicked. And that's what has been my whole life. And, you know, you, you tend to, um, <clears throat> you know, find a purpose of doing something because you, you, you sort of wired that way and it's just forever and non-stop my son says to me mum you're always moving things about you know so anyway here's the beginning of it I'm just using my mobile <coughs> excuse me now I do a lot of floral arrangements in like boxes um, I'll just quick give you a quick show excuse the mess while well, you understand um, so these are the little box things, you know, the window boxes and stuff that I do the floral arrangements in and, and sell them when I, when I do. <laughs> That's a, a very far and few between event because I'm so, let me know if you're the same that and until it's organized, you feel like you can't function normally, you know, like I don't want to go to the market, so I don't want to create until everything is all organized so that's my effort and that's taken a whole year I built the shelving and it looks like little crates and then I built some crates to house the the florals all the florals and the greenery I did this yesterday um, and today and the day before because I was doing different things in between so the baskets used to be there and I, I just thought, no, I wanted it to be sort of near. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. So we've got one basket here, another basket there. I will be putting another basket up there and then putting them baskets in the basket <laughs> just to make it look neatly so they're not just shoved in. They're all the breadboards um, that I do all my graphics with. They're all the photo frames and canvases that I do work with, when I do. Um, a man and one unfinished projects. Some finished projects. They've just got little bits to do. So, yeah, they're finished. And then up there. And then I was given this kitchen. I was given this bookshelf. Um for free I want to put a shelf there so because there's um, come out there's one two shelves there and then I want to put another shelf there um, I was given this kitchen um, and there's more of it outside because I haven't figured out where I'm putting it in um, there's a pantry up that way um, so it's going to house my tools and all the hardware where bits and pieces that, you know, like when I go to make something, that's the problem. When I go to make something, it's like, oh, where did I put that? And I can't complete the project. So I'm that, you know, hyper -fix, fixated on being creative that I start the project, can't finish it, puts it aside. The next day, wake up and start the same cycle again. <sighs> Dear me, ADHD, I... I'm not medicated properly. Um, the concerta um, is now $60 a script because the psychiatrist can't go and verify that I had ADH as a child. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so I'll pay for that. Um, so I don't want to pay that because of the other expenses or all the other medications that I'm on. But anyway, I digress. Up here I put a shelf... And that's just got all the, the twine and the, the jute ropes and things like that that I use in the crafting. That's just a container from an old section with, you know, like raffia, sewing, 
crochet a few more oh, um, ribbons I did have a ribbon thing up here and then I pulled it apart that's sort of mean about <laughs> OCD as well um, and it's frustrating when I see all of this but I know that I'm going to be so elated and happy when it's all done it just takes me forever um, slowly does it Rome wasn't built in a day but the problem with that is they they were able to make yardage you know like work on a section at a time and keep going and going until it was completed with me I'm going to the into the fields I'm going into the town doing stuff I'm going into the bridge so when you're only one person that's why um, so this is going to be where all the ribbons and um, beads are there's some signs I've just been doing um, and I print my own graphics in my own graphic folder and put backgrounds on them and so all the artwork is mine um, there is so much on the internet that is the same or similar but you know if you know how to use your Microsoft Word and create your own words and like this one here very similar but you can get free um, feathers and draw your own draw your own arrow you know and then take a picture of it and then upload it into the program and then that way you can expand it shrink it you know alter the size so where there's a will is a way so that's just the cupboard chockers so back back up yeah I've got a lot of tools ladies <laughs> you'd be surprised my son is going to enjoy my my permanent rest because <laughs> he's going to get it all um, and the mess <laughs> um, that's the kitchen bench that you know that I've secured the top to with the cabinets that was just all over the place so I'm cleaning that up today um, yeah so that's the pantry there I've just moved that here today and that's going to store bits and pieces of crafty stuff. That's all going to be changed out. Um, so, yeah, so I built those shelves to house all, you know, some timber stuff. And, yeah, I know, it's all messy. So that was my bench where it wheels out. You know, there's my garage and I wheel it out and, and do all my cutting. Um, that part of the cabinet there that you might be able to see is the kitchen sink so I'll put a board on it eventually I will tap it in plumb it in and use it for all the paints but I've got to figure out what to do with that and that's all just ceramic plates tin um, you name it for all the um, upcycling you know so I've hoarded a lot of stuff well yeah I just keep buying knowing that one day it's just going to it happened that it'll all be organised. <laughs> I dare not take you out the back. <laughs> I dare not. No way. So there's the other shelf that I've just got to um, fix up. I've just got to um, paint it with some anti-rust. You know, I use a wire brush on that, get as much off because it's only surface rust. Um, I did the floor um, in that Teresi thing. So... Um, I will have to touch it up because of all the scratching and moving around and stuff like that. So there's a couple of stools that I've upcycled um, but are yet to complete. So a lot of stuff is yet to complete, yet to complete, yet to complete. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, happy Sunday everybody. So you can imagine it when it's all clean and all that's there. So... I will do a review, God knows, he does, he knows when I'm going to have it all organised because he wants me to, to be productive and, and, you know, live a, a, a normal life with ADHD and other medical issues, so, yeah. And I'll be touching up on that, it's not going to be a sob, you know, sob story, it's not going to be, it's going to be an uplifting, inspiring how we overcome and I want you to comment and like and share with other people who may have ADHD or OCD um, or overwhelming because I hope my video can give inspiration you know as I 
work on the progress. So this is, I'll give you the nice, nice ending of it. <laughs> so this is my all my florals and fauna and greenery um, that I use on my projects. So uh, happy Sunday, everybody. And uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by. And if you're a, a, a new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I do have a lot of tips and tricks and content. Being in Australia, we don't have the American products like the Dollar, Dollarama, Dollar General, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, um, and Michaels and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Walmart. I wish, and Harper Freight, they are just all my favourites. And we, we don't get the products here. So we have to think outside the box and create our own, you know, like... Um, you know, these floral arrangements are five and six dollars, you know, for a couple of pieces in them. Whereas a Dollar Tree, you get a big, you know, bushel of um, greenery or floral uh, for a dollar, a dollar twenty-five, you know. Things that you pay there, like the bamboo chopping boards, are a dollar twenty-five. Here, they're nine ninety-five. So it's difficult to upcycle it, to, to sell it, like... Um, my boards, my charcuterie boards, which I'm doing kitchen decor, um, you know, I get the timber, cut the shapes out, do the sanding, do the painting, do the sanding, you know, I do all of that. And it's just very time consuming and, you know, it, it's difficult to quicken the process up when you've got to start from scratch, you know. Um, I'll give you an example um, see, I'm, I'm rolling again, motor mouth. <laughs> These I made from, um, oh, what do you call it? Parquetry flooring. Now, they were just all pieces like that, and I actually made the square, putting a back, backing on it. Now, you know, the time to do that, you buy these little shadow boxes for a dollar. You know, put a picture in it, gloss it over, put a bow on it, twine on it, hang it up, you know, or a, a sawtooth hanger at the back, and, you know, you've got a, a $7, $8 farmhouse rustic um, shadow box. So we can't do that here. So this is where my channel is going to teach you how to shop um for products at the op shops and all the community secondhand stores. It's going to show you tips and tricks. Like we don't have the IOD. Well, it's expensive. We, we can get it here, but it's $60 a book, you know, $68 a book. And I'm thinking, how can you put that product on another product and upcycle it and get the price? Um, I know our Australian dollars are a lot greater, but everybody is struggling and, very long, deep pockets and very short arms. So we've got to find a way of, you know, being creative. And I started doing this to, you know, contribute to my home because I couldn't afford the, the beautiful decor out there, so I made my own. You know, I took a picture and thought, okay, how do I do this and how do I do that? I've been a woodworker for 40-odd 40, 40 years now, but my physicality prevents me from doing a lot more than what I would like to do. So I'm limited in doing smalls. I'm not doing the big furniture anymore. Like I wanted to up upcycle that. And, you know, I would have been making timber drawers, you know, with uh, leather strap handles on them. And, you know, I'd be fixing the sides up. But, yeah, I just can't do it anymore. So smalls it is, you know. So it's farmhouse decor, cottage Country decor, country decor, country cottage, country farmhouse, um, farmhouse provincial, French provincial, all those, all those in it. So um, I'll give you tips on making your own chalk paint, your own blackboard chalk paint, um, just a variety of different things that, you know, over the 15 years I've been doing YouTube, um, this channel's only a short duration because I had one and I deleted it. Um, yeah, I went through a very emotional time struggling with going through cancer on my own. Um, 
you know, it wasn't just like breast or cervical cancer, it was throat cancer. So eating, talking, breathing, you know, I seem to get, you know, a really big severity of anything that I go through, you know, so it's pretty extreme. So I just shut down mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. So, yeah, I'm hoping I'm getting back on the horse now, <laughs> 2000, the end of 2022. So I'm hoping 223, I'll have all of this done. Yeah, right, right, Rochelle. <laughs> um, to a point where I can start producing video tubes, YouTube videos on a regular basis. So um, without further ado, hit that like button, hit that share button, um, have a look at um, some of my videos and my playlist. It's all disorganised until I get organised in the playlist. Uh, I used to do junk journaling, but no longer anymore. So I'm doing D stashes very shortly. Um, and yeah, please comment if if you're like me um, with the ADHD, you know, or frustration with you know acquiring products and or just not knowing how to do something. You know, I can walk you through steps with tutorials or even doing a Zoom and um, build up a community because that's what I want. I want to be able to build up a community so I can you know, educate people, teach people, laugh, cry, you know, just be there and we, we need that camaraderie because it's, it's a virtual world now so a lot of us are reclusing, staying indoors, we don't have that social interaction, we end up having social phobia, which I do. So let's build an online community so I'm hoping it, it, it will boom um, boom to zoom because it's much needed all right au revoir thank you bye for now